Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is a, a different video uh, tonight from the ones I uh, regularly make. And um, it's regarding the adding of uh, figures to a locomotive. Now, I've probably mentioned in, in a few of my videos pre previously about uh, figures going into locomotives. And it's got its uh, pros and cons. Uh, please excuse my handheld camera work. So I uh, saw which about. Now, what I've done, I've, I've already added these figures into the locomotive. And I'm going to show you what they actually look like inside the locomotive now. Okay, so... There we are. So that's our figures inside the locomotive there. You can see. You can see we've got a driver and a fireman there, which I've managed to glue in, glue into position. We're going to take a little look and see if we can get a, a better view with the torch. There we are. So that gives you a good illumination of the figures there. You can see the... Um, the door has been posed that he's reaching up for something in, in the uh, cab there. And then the uh, fireman is actually adding coal into the firebox. Okay. Now, there's pros and cons to, to doing this. Obviously, uh, what a lot of people would, would do is that they might, might prefer not to add figures to, to their models. Because they don't want to lose the originality of, uh, of their particular model. They want to keep it as it is. Uh, as it came out of the box and I can understand that and I can respect that view but for me I, I sort of found that um, uh, adding figures has made uh, a great deal of difference to my locomotives and that it kind of uh, uh, for me it kind of brings it to life and on this particular one you can see like it's got the um, because of the church ward locomotive the cab is quite exposed and so you've got a very very you can get a very very good view of the uh, the figures inside the, the uh, locomotive here now, the actual um, figures I use from a company called P&D Marsh Models here, you can see them there. You get, you get two lots of loco crew and they cost about £10 to be able to um, buy, buy these. And these are metal painted figures. Okay, so they represent very good value for money. Now, I did have a few kind of funny attempts at putting in... Uh, loco cruise and i found it quite frustrating to start with but it's worth persisting with it uh, one of the mistakes i made was to use uh, too much glue uh, on on the first uh, crew i put in so i had to do a little bit of cleaning up of the locomotive cab on, on uh, uh, one of my locomotives but what i did i saw a very very useful video uh, which was uh, actually put out by hattons and the gentleman there showed a few of the techniques which i've actually picked up here and i've actually used uh, in the um in the uh, placing of this loco, loco crew into this locomotive. Now, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a look and see uh, what glue I use first of all. And the glue I've been using is this. Turn it around for you. It's called uh, Loctite uh, Precision Super Glue. Pretty quick drying and very, very effective. Okay. You can buy, I mean, I can buy, uh, you can buy a glue, which is called a gel, gel type super glue, which allows you to reposition the models um, and the parts that you fix it into the models. But that does actually um, take a long time to dry. And I found it, it's a little bit difficult to hold it in place for a long time, say with tweezers. And then um, if you let go of the figure and it's not, the glue's not quite dry, the figure might sort of fall over. But with these, I managed to put in straight away. And it's using this particular technique. Now, uh, to prevent using too much glue, uh, what you basically do is you just put, um, if you can imagine I'm doing this now, sort of fixing it, you put a blob of glue onto the paper. And then you just pick up a little, little bit of glue on the end of this cocktail stick. And you add it to the feet of the, you add it to the feet of the figures. Okay, so... Uh, since you imagine me doing that now, it's all around next to the feet of the figures. There. Then what you do um, is you can actually put them in with tweezers. Now what I did is I bought this uh, rather useful uh, soldering kit here, and it included two pairs of tweezers. And these are the tweezers I use today, and this enabled me to actually grip the models like so, and place it inside. The locomotive okay and and this really does in my view it, it does make the actual uh, locomotive pop uh, so to speak with detail 
and we'll just bring the uh, lamp around a little bit so we get a better view. There we are, so, so you see them in there working rather hard. Um, obviously, you won't be going headlong into, a, into the box, but there we go. And this is just a, a, a regular a Hobie Railroad model. And so, so, so there we go with our actual figures. Now, another thing which I've been using to, to enable me to get this um, these figures put in, and for other things in my hobby, is I bought myself one of these hobby lamps. So I bought from Amazon. Okay. And uh, let's see if we can find out what... Uh, oh, my, mine is called a Pure Light. It's called a Pure Light. There's the on-off switch down there, you can see. There we go. And uh, basically, it's got four different um, illumination levels. So I'll switch it off now. You can see what difference it makes. Switch it right off. Look at that. You can imagine trying to work now. You can imagine how difficult that would be with just the overhead lights and the light coming through the window. But if you switch the lights on, you've got one level, two level, three level, four levels. You've got four different levels of lighting. Uh, I normally use the, the maximum uh, level. And uh, if you're into modelling, hobbies or anything else, and um, and you're lucky enough to be able to afford one, then I would advise you to get a hobby lamp uh, like this particular one. Okay. Now, one of the benefits uh, that I found of me adding a loco crew into here is that a lot of these Hornby Railroad models uh, don't come with a painted cab. Okay. So you look in there and the cab is completely black. It's got it's got the detail in there. I don't know if the torch should let it show it up enough, but um, there you go. You can see there look. It's completely black inside. It's got all the detail there, but none of it's painted. So if you add like a painted cat, uh, crew like this, it does add um, it does add to the colour of the model and to the interest of the cab. Uh, you can position it that the uh, crew in various poses. And that's all I did. I just simply put the glue onto the feet of the uh, the feet of the um, particular figures. And on the driver, I put a little tiny blob on his hand, so that when he rested against the cab, it would also hold him against the the, the cab, uh, because it's my intention to leave these in here permanently. Okay. So now you you can imagine when when the train's going round. Um, you try to sort of, well. I kind of imagine that this is a real locomotive going round. I think you've got to use a lot of imagination with model railways. I mean, I have to because uh, you can see where my uh, model railway goes. It actually goes on this bed. In fact, this is one of the baseboards. And the reason why it's so messy is because I've been using it as a, a table to do work on locomotives. I should have really covered it over, but you know we, we live in learn don't we but anyway but that, that's where it goes and you think i'm trying to add sort of imagination and interest uh, to my uh, layout uh, it's a simple it's a simple six foot by four foot layout there and um so by adding a crew you can add add a kind of a um, higher level of realism uh to, to, to everything and uh, you, you can imagine that you know in reality, if this locomotive was real and it was uh, heading on down, say for example, from Paddington to Cornwall or something like that, uh, the local crew would be working very, very hard, uh, the firemen um, working very, very hard to actually uh, make sure that there's, there's enough steam to get the locomotive, especially up some of the steep banks, steep hills, and obviously the um, the drive will be using the steam that the, um, the fireman is creating. And um, their uh, main objective is to get everybody safely to their destination on time. So when when this go around the track, yeah, you can sort of look in at the crew there. You can imagine them working very very hard at uh, keeping um, keeping the locomotive on time. Okay. And if we look at it and um, from various angles, you can see. I mean, especially with the Churchwood style cab, where it's, where it's uh, quite exposed there. You, you you do get a very good uh, view of the uh, locomotive crew as the uh, locomotive is uh, going round. Um, this particular one is County of Devon. See there, from the Hornby Railroad range. Uh, there was a more um, 
sophisticated model and I think that was uh, part of a train set though and that does contain more sort of uh, detail to the lining and I think it's got a crest in, in between the Great and the Western there but they, I think it's perfectly good it's a nice little railroad model here okay now I hope you found this uh, short video interesting um, and certainly I can see the benefits of uh, for, for me at least of, of adding a cab to the a cab crew into the this locomotive if i could turn the tender right around there i get a better go again there we are look at that view of the, the the local crew there now okay so so just to recap uh when, if you're going to add figures don't use too much glue um use a cocktail stick just to add a tiny little blob of glue to the feet of the figures and for me i found a uh, to hold them in place with tweezers with tweezers very very helpful okay so thank you very much for watching now if you um like what you see press like subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future videos and uh, there'll be lots of other, more of it forthcoming videos coming up on my channel uh, and i'm waiting for a new locomotive to arrive um that would take a few few days to get to me then. I'll be featuring that locomotive um, in a future video later this week. Okay, so thank you very much for your interest. And thank you very, very much for watching. And, uh, and goodbye.